Hey everybody, it's Maggie from This or That, and today we're talking about travel essentials. I'm actually headed to Austin for a recruiting event for my firm. I've got to get everything together to go on this trip, and so recently I've been traveling a lot. I just went to Denver for work, and I went home recently, and I picked up this thing from Target that sort of inspired me to make this video because I've really, really been loving it lately. Since I was about to pack, I was like, why not take everybody along with me and show them this new thing that I got and how I've been packing everything. So this is what it looks like. It's this bag from Target. I had originally intended to go to Target to pick up something I actually needed, like detergent. Ended up roaming the aisles of cosmetics like I always do and walked out with this bag, but I don't regret it for a second because I had this other bag that I got from Target when it was part of the Lily Pulitzer and Target hoo-ha. One thing that I did happen to grab was this. And at the time I didn't have any sort of travel bag. This sort of fulfilled the purposes of what I need. Now, my only issue with it is that it's pretty much just like a deep dark hole. And by dark I mean very bright because it's Lily Pulitzer. It does have two pockets here which was nice and then it does have this one big zipper pocket. But it's really hard to keep everything organized and not falling over and I don't know. This was just not my favorite thing to travel with. I think it's really good if you're going on a short trip and you want to just throw absolutely everything in here. But there was never really a place for makeup brushes, so I was always having to bring like my different makeup brush little like roller round holder. And then I ended up having to bring my makeup separately. So I had three bags like one for shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, all the bathroom stuff like toothbrush, toothpaste, the toiletries. That's the word I was looking for. So it was just too much. And while I really like this, I think I'm going to have to find a way to repurpose it. But in order to take its place, I ended up getting this thing from Target, and this is from the brand Sophia Joy. What really attracted me was the pattern. It just really jumped off the shelf and I liked it. But as I dove deeper in, I saw that it has multiple compartments that I'll show you. So this has the upper zipper compartment and this is where I put things like shampoo, conditioner, and I always keep my travel contact solution, travel toothpaste, and Q-tips in here so that it's a no-brainer when I go to pack. It's not like I'm taking it out and I'm gonna forget to put it back in. Yeah, lotions, anything that might spill and needs to be upright, I typically put up here and then zipper that closed. And then it also has this section for makeup brushes. And it has this flap too so that when you have like the powders and everything on your brushes and you haven't cleaned them in a little bit, it's not getting all over everything and like spreading that color. While this doesn't seem to have a lot of brush slots, what I've found is I'll stick the bigger brushes that won't necessarily fit into these holes just right here and stick them under the elastic strap so they still stay in place. Because they're a lot taller and bigger, they're not over like the eyeshadow brushes or anything collecting their powder. So this actually fits a lot of brushes as you'll see when you pack with me in just a few minutes. The third compartment, mm, the third compartment is just this big, deep, the biggest section. So this is where I end up putting all of my makeup. Like it honestly fits everything with ample room and I always keep a little plastic bag to put my beauty sponge or beauty blender, whatever I'm using at the time in that. And I always wrap the sponge and toilet paper so that it can sort of like soak up the liquids when it doesn't have enough time to dry before I have to go pack it. You'll see that I actually end up having ample space so I end up throwing anything that can't fit in maybe this upper compartment right here will end up going down here and even including like my big face washer thing that I shared with you in the monthly favorites like all of that can fit in here so why don't we get to packing. Right, so ignore this thing because this is my rigged uh, tripod for you right now. So what we're going to start with is this compartment right here. This is how I typically start. Now a little tip for you is that I truly never really pack shampoo or conditioner because you can always get that free at the hotel. So if you want to save space, you can save on doing that. Every day obviously you need to brush your teeth. So I have my toothpaste in here and then I also have my contact solution that's the travel size. I'm flying so I know that this is the perfect size. I think you can have three ounces and Oh, this is four, but it's okay. I have TSA pre-check and nobody ever cares. So then I also have my Q-tips and maybe I should refill these really quick. And I love this thing. I bought it for like a dollar in the travel section and you can refill your own Q-tips once you buy like the mega packs like I do. Okay, so I refilled that. So I have my Q-tips. Every day I've really been using this Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It really is a buildable hydrating cream. They're not kidding. In the summer I usually get pretty oily, so this is a really light moisturizer. I wouldn't say that it's a primer if you're somebody who does like to prime your face. You're going to need to use a separate primer because this really is just a moisturizer, but it's really good. It's been, it's lasted me a pretty long time. I still have so much product in here and I've had it for probably three months. So taking that along with me. 
deodorant always a necessity however i always keep a deodorant and also i have this i have a really big problem of forgetting deodorant in the mornings so you'll see that i've spent like way too much money on this because i had to go buy some in the convenience store at work because i just couldn't handle it that happened twice i now have one of these in my purse so i'm not packing an extra deodorant since i always have one with me in my purse so this will also save on a little room i've been trying to be good about putting sunscreen on my face and this is my favorite thing i got it in a sephora sun care sephora favorites kit this is the clarins uv plus sunscreen and we're actually doing like a progressive dinner for this event that I'm going to in Austin and so I know we'll be outside so I want to bring that along just so that you know where I'm pulling everything from this is my sort of everyday drawer I know it doesn't look that organized but I truly do know where everything is this is more of the toiletries bin right here this is all of my makeup contact solution makeup wipes over here big moisturizer that wouldn't fit in here and then back here I have lip products that I sort of rotate and then back here is all my makeup palettes and this little travel Z palette. Okay, so we'll hop back in here. Because I'm going through the toiletry section, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some things that aren't gonna fit up here. I usually store them down below. And that would be this Paula's, whoa, that's upside down. This Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Gel. This is just a uh, an exfoliant that I use like once or twice a week. So I'll go ahead and throw that in. I always like to take extra little hair ties with me. You never know when you might need that. I'm probably gonna bring my curling iron. Actually, no, I'm not. Floss because we need to keep doing that. Oh, and this stuff is awesome. When I travel, I tend to get really oily. And you know, when you have a change in environment and stuff, your skin doesn't react very well. Well, this is like two bucks from e.l.f. And what it is, is you, it's just like little acne medication. And you just roll this on and it truly does help. If I have a little bump, I'll like put this on over the bump before I put makeup on. And I'll notice that it doesn't develop into like a full blown blemish half the time. So I'm going to bring this because it's great to travel with. And then I like to throw in these travel makeup wipes just in case. Sometimes I have a little trouble getting mascara off depending on the one that I use. So I like to throw these in. I got these free as a sample from Sephora. This is my nighttime moisturizer I'm using right now that I like a lot. I've been using the Origins Nitamins and it's a much richer, heavier night cream. And it was really great in the winter, but I've really liked this. I got this in First Aid Beauty kit from Sephora recently. I'm gonna bring this for my nighttime moisturizer. I love this Tangle Teaser. What this is, it's like this little plastic brush that's shaped really strange and it's flexible. And this has really prevented my hair from breaking a lot when I'm brushing it when it's wet. I'm gonna take this along because obviously I'll be showering. And I put that in like this bottom section under here with all the bigger items. All right, some other things that I'm gonna bring that I actually keep in a cabinet sort of behind these drawers. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the travel size. I also got this in another Sephora Favorites kit. So I'm gonna bring that along. For a while I was using it every day and then I just realized that I didn't need to do that because I need to save it for travel. This is the Amica Touchable Hairspray. This smells amazing. I've loved this stuff and it doesn't make your hair crunchy. I have some other like herbal essence hairspray that smells amazing, but it really doesn't do good things for my hair. Like I think it sort of makes my hair really clumpy. Anyway, this is awesome. This also came in a 500 point perk that I got from Sephora. Love, love, love this Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry. Ew, hair blow dry perfection heat and protecting cream i actually have the full size of this another time when i placed an order on sephora this is clearly a problem this was i think the free sample like i typed in a code that i got off of ebates and this came free with my order this was perfect because the other size is too big for like tsa rules so i'm really really glad to have a travel size of this and we'll probably look out for this i don't know if you can buy this separately i don't know if this was like a special they did with sephora but if you can and you want to just give this stuff a try i promise you won't be disappointed this stuff is awesome and then because i get greasy when i travel and i'm traveling and getting into austin right before the dinner i'm definitely going to bring some dry shampoo this is the amica perk up dry shampoo i love this it smells so good so it'll be refreshing it'll make me smell a little better and help with the greasiness all right, I think that this is everything I'm gonna bring in this top section, and as you can see, there's still ample room. Like, you could fit so much more in this if I wanted to bring the shampoo and the conditioner and the extra deodorant, I definitely have room for it, but I'm trying not to overpack these days, so let's go ahead and call it a day on this drawer. So now we're moving on to the makeup brush section. So you just flip this flat back, 
and I sort of go through packing my brushes in the order that I put on my makeup. So the first thing that I put on is actually foundation and concealer. So I'm gonna pack this pure sponge that I'm using, and I always told you I wrap it in toilet paper and stick it in that plastic bag. This is awesome. I got this in a boxy charm in a set of three, which was pretty amazing. I had never used this brand before. I typically use the orange Real Techniques one. I have really, really been loving this. So definitely packing that sponge. After I put on my concealer, I set my under eyes with this Luxie 512 small contouring brush. It's just a little head and I put I use that NYX banana powder and put this on under my eyes. So this one's definitely going with me. I sort of just stuff these wherever. And you can put them under the little elastic if you're worried about that. Then the next thing I do is blush and I've really been liking this Real Techniques. I think that this is like the multi no it says just blush brush. These are really sturdy brushes. A little hard to travel with because the bottom is so like differently shaped than the top. So because these don't really fit that well in here, I mean, you can get them in here, just have to wiggle. Sometimes I'll just stick them in between as you'll see with another brush. So after blush, I usually put on bronzer and this brush is crazy, I realize that. And I think that this is, this is the crown, crown brush? Oh, SS023 Jumbo Kabuki Fan. Typically this shape of brush is used to put on highlighter. However, I was watching Kathleen Lights and she was opening her BoxyCharm in one of her videos and she got this and she was like, you know what? I think that this is a little too thick. Okay, so this is what a normal fan brush looks like. You can see it's the same shape, but it's just really thin. You dip it in the powder and then you put this on the top of your cheeks and it's really thin and it sort of gives you just like this little light dusting of highlight. Well, this is really thick and I don't think anybody needs to be wearing like that big of a stripe of highlight. So she picked this up and used it for bronzer and I have loved this for bronzer. It's perfect just to put around the perimeters of your face. Then I typically move on to eyes. So I've been really liking this. I got this Mally brush in another subscription box. It's just a fluffy brush that I use to put things in the crease. So that's definitely going. Also got this in a boxy charm. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia Bomb 40 Shader Brush. So this is just to, you know, pack shadows all over the lids. And I typically like to use this brush from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush. And it's shaped sort of strangely, as you can tell. But because of its like half moon shape, it fits perfectly under your eyebrow. So this is what I use to put like lighter colors under the brow bone. So I use that every day. And I really like this other e.l.f. brush. This e.l.f. contour brush is perfect for putting those darker colors. You can see it's like sort of rounded. And it's really good for putting those darker colors in your outer V. So I typically like to use that every day without fail. Yeah, I think that's all the brushes that I'm going to be bringing. Oh, wait, no. And then lastly, I like to put highlighter on with this e.l.f. angled blush brush. It's at this, let me see if, yeah, you can see it better that way. So it's sort of an angled brush. I'll typically dip just like one side in and it's just perfect to fit on the corners of your cheeks and add highlights. So I really like that. And I think we're good. I don't think we need much more than that. So we'll go ahead and close that top and move on for the bottom. First things first, I again pack in the order of how I put things on. I have makeup sort of spread out. It's on the counter over here, and then it's in the drawer over there. A combination that I've really been loving lately is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have the shade 102 Shell Beige. It definitely is matte. They say that it is a lasting demi-matte finish. In the winter, this really highlighted my dry spots, and I wish that I had come up with this little technique sooner, but I recently got this Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and if you mix these together, it is perfect. And I've been really, really loving this combination, so I'm gonna bring both of those. And the next thing I do is put on concealer. Because I'm going, I have a 6 a.m. flight, and I need something that's gonna last all day once I land at 7 a.m. and have to go to work, I think I'm gonna bring this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is really long lasting. It's really brightening. I really, really love this. And because I'll be tired after a late dinner and flying so early, I think this is perfect. I have it in the shade Light Sand. Then next I typically put on blush. I'm gonna do something a little differently. I've been trying to go through my collection and sort of figure out items that I'm not using as much. And I bought this Tarte palette a long time ago. And it comes stocked with sort of everything you need. It's the perfect travel palette. So I think I'm gonna bring this because for my blush, my bronzer, and my eyeshadows. I used it today and I've, I've been neglecting this, but this is the perfect neutral shade. This is the perfect neutral berry combination. So I think I'm gonna bring this. This highlights a little crazy, but it's good for under the brow bone. And it also comes with this great mirror. So I'm gonna pack that. 
To set my concealer, I forgot this. I'm gonna bring this NYX HD Finishing Powder to set my concealer. And then I typically move on to eyes. So I'm gonna bring my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. This stuff really does make it last all day. So typically I would probably pack another eyeshadow palette. Like this has been my go-to travel palette recently. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes. And this is the perfect neutral palette. Like I love this. If you're looking for a new neutral palette, go get this. I really stink and love it. So it's a little painful not to pack it, but I really wanna get some more use out of that Tarte palette. So next up is brows. I got this Anastasia Anastasia, whatever. Everybody says Anastasia on YouTube. So I'm going to go with that because they probably know what they're talking about. And this is the Brow Wiz. I think, it, yeah, in the shade medium brown. And on one end, you have this teeny tiny little, you know, brow crayon sort of situation. And it's so little and it really does create like natural looking hairs if you do just like little wispy strokes. And then on the other end is the best spoolie I have ever used. I mean, it's just like so tightly wound. I don't know, it really grabs the hairs. It puts them in the right shape. I love this thing. So even if I just don't even feel like doing my brows that day, I will definitely brush through it with this rather than this old eyebrow brush that I used to have. So that's definitely gonna come with me. I got this 50% off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So I actually got two of these and I'm really glad that I did. So now I have a backup. This is really running out, but I really like the felt tip eyeliners that go on the top for my like upper lid eyeliner. I got this in a boxy charm. I think one of the very first ones I ever received and this is the Girl Lactic Beauty Precise Eyeliner Marker in Black Noir. It doesn't move. It's super duper black. It stays on all day. It's not waterproof so it's really really easy to get off but it really does have really good staying power. And this is the Pure Minerals Double Ego Eyeliner. So there's two ends. You have this felt tip liner on this end and you have this other retractable, just like, it's just like a normal gel eyeliner. And I've really enjoyed wearing this side on my bottom lashes. This is okay, it just doesn't really, I mean, I guess it looks like it shows up pretty well there, but it really compared to this black one, just doesn't show up that well. And you have to really press down and apply a lot, whoa. As you can tell the difference, like that one is gray. And I mean, it is a gray shade, but anyway. Moral of the story is I like the crayon sort of side for the bottom lashes, so I'm definitely gonna bring that with me. So after I do eyeliner, I typically do mascara. This is the only mascara that I have right now. This is the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. I featured this in the Jam Beauty 89 video, made me buy it, like this other YouTuber that I really love to watch, along with a couple of other of these products. This was a really great recommendation. I do think that you should use two coats every single time you do it to get a more dramatic effect. Anyway, this is a really good drugstore cheap. I think it was like $5.99, six bucks. So I definitely like that. I'm gonna throw this in too. This is the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. And what this is, is sort of like a brow gel brow color mixed in one. So you can see it has this little spoolie and it's teeny tiny. And it does have colored product, but it's sort of hard to do too much with this. But I really like it because it helps my brows stay in place. And since I'll be flying and traveling, I think that that's a good thing to take along with me. And for some reason, I do my whole face, then I do mascara, and then I go back and do highlighter. Uh, I'm trying to use this up. This is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Highlighter. It's called a bronzer but really it is a highlight. And once you sheer it out, like it, I don't think that this light is really picking it up, but this stuff is so good and so subtle and it actually has SPF in it, which means that it expires. So I think that this expires, yeah, in October of 2017. So I'm doing my best to use this up as much as possible and I definitely, definitely will be repurchasing. So this highlighter is coming with me. And as you can see, like this thing is huge, but I still have ample space in here. Oh, let me grab this bag. So I'll go ahead and add the pure sponge. Every night I wear a retainer, so I'll typically put that in this section. And I don't have a designated travel face wash. So what I do is I love, love, love this Origins moisturizer. It's this ginseng energy boosting moisturizer. Anyway, but something else that I love about Origins products is 
the like reusability of the jars. So I have my Paula's Choice face wash in here that I just sort of dip my finger in when I go to use. And so this is sort of my travel face wash container. So I definitely need to bring that with me. And this is my little face washer thing that I'll put in its case and add to this bag. But as you can see, this really fit so many products and has room to spare. So if I really needed to bring more, I would have the room for it. So all you do now is close everything up. the full and final product. It's chocked full of everything that we just packed together and I hope that this video was fun for you to help me pack for my trip to Austin and maybe gave you a suggestion of a product that you would want to pick up to help you travel in the future. Check out the Sophia Joy products. I didn't check to see if they have a separate website outside of Target but if they do I'll link that in the description box below for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you liked it and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!